Hello viewers, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. You can find me on Facebook at Revealing Light Tarot. You can find me on Patreon under the same name. And you can also visit my website at revealinglighttarot.com. So let's uh, get on with this reading. I want to have a look at the Declaration of National Emergency. Trump's uh, made in the last uh, couple of weeks. And of course, uh, there's been strong opposition to it. Um, now, we know that uh, there are several states that have brought action before the courts trying to halt it. Uh, we've got um, movement uh, by Schumer in the Senate and now uh, in, the, um, in the House. Um, and I think that uh, comes up for a vote this week in the House. So let's have a look. Will that vote in, uh, in the House um, be successful? What are the general conditions around it? Will the declaration go ahead? There's been some talk of monetary shortfall in some of the areas uh, Trump wants to siphon funds off from. To me, it was kind of a desperate measure. And that's what I've always thought. We've had Lindsey Graham, uh, that bastion of, um, uh, you know, up, up, upstanding, um, I guess, uh, fortitude <laughs> come forward and, um, and say that, there are several Republicans in the Senate who might actually vote with the Democrats, uh, but of course he wouldn't. He believes declaring the national the uh, national emergency was was the right thing to do. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Quite strange. He would come out and say that. Why would you even share that? That that some Republicans are going to vote it, vote against it, but I won't. Okay. So. Um, Let's have a look at the general conditions around Trump's uh, declaration of a uh, national emergency. It's fake news is what I'm getting. It's fake. Um, will it be successful? Will it be successful? Uh, will the courts um, rule that there is no, that Trump doesn't have that power, that there is no national emergency? What are the Republicans going to do in the Congress? Or let's have a look. We'll have a look at the general conditions around that. Will it be successful? Will it be successful? Well, straight off, we've got uh, the Three of Swords, which is loss, telling us there's going to be a loss there. The challenge is, uh, is it was a desperate act on behalf of Trump. That's the Nine of Swords. <sighs> hmm. The Magician. Okay, so we've got, we've still got this dirty trickster aspect coming through in, in the dealings here. So that's saying that um, it's not going to be as easy to roll as, as one would believe. It's just not going to magically go away. The courts are just not going to say, you know, we, we you know, it's not going to be easy, okay? So it's going, there's going to be a time period involved. In the past we've got, um, this is really around... Uh, patience again and um, I guess the delayed aspect of, uh, of building the wall uh, and also uh, some kind of money news around it. Obviously, there's not the money there to build it. But it's only a page. So that's showing me that it was sort of like half-hearted from the... Well, of course, we had the bluster. Mexico is going to pay for the wall. That's what that's saying. Uh, and it was, uh, it was actually a... Um, a very foolish campaign promise that possibly, um, you know, if they wanted to build the wall, why didn't they do that when they held the House and the Senate? Um, you know, uh, why why go why go to a, a declaration of national emergency when they could have just uh, pushed it through? I know that he says they had to get 60 votes in the Senate, um, but when they held the power, they did. They did. They were able to achieve uh, achieve the the things that they wanted to. We've got um, the Ace of Swords coming through, uh, which is really around new inspiration and new projects. Let's see where that's going to take us. That's that's really what uh, what the hope is. I think. That, that it will get through. But look, we've still got this disappointment, the Four of uh, Cups. This has always come through the wall readings that Trump's offered uh, something smaller and he's forced to take it. And that's in the immediate future. So I'm seeing 
will ask after this whether or not Republicans will vote with Democrats. I'm actually seeing disappointment there for Trump. Um, and again, this insecurity is bringing, it's making its way forward. This is, uh, there's just not enough money to build the damn thing is what this is saying. The environment around it, okay, well, there's hope on both sides of the fence, hope that, that it will be built and hope that it won't. I'm seeing that the hope that it will be built is really uh, very marginalised. It's not. It's not the majority. I think the overriding thing is that uh, the majority hope that it, that it won't. That that national uh, that declaration will not be successful. The hopes and the fears. Okay, so we've got uh, hope that it will be uh, supported, and of course uh, the fear that it won't. Um, and this goes a little bit deeper to how Trump is blind to how the majority feel about the wall. Most don't want it, including uh, a significant uh, section of Republicans, particularly in those border states. He's failing to see that. Um, the Four of Wands, homecomings and success. Um, we asked what was going to happen. I feel that this card is is around the success of the um, of the actions in court. I feel this is this is this is at the state level. So while we might might not see uh, traction um, in the Congress, that is uh, the uh, the legislation or the bills or the resolutions won't be supported. We might see more success for the states in the court. And that's what I'm getting. And this is almost like upholding states' rights. So you've got the um, the state versus the federalism coming through here as an issue around this declaration. And you had the states sending home uh, the National Guard as well. And we've got the Sword of Truth coming forward, which uh, basically validates my interpretation of that homecoming card. Uh, there's going to be... Um, wins in the court for those that are opposing this uh, emergency declaration. Let's have a look more closely at the Congress because even if Congress votes against it, it goes to t Trump's desk, he vetoes it, and then we've got you've got a, a constitutional crisis there. I think there's already a constitutional crisis because it's up to Congress to appropriate the money, not up to the president. So this has been quite foolhardy, which is what makes the congressional actions very interesting. Where are those Republicans going to be, particularly those ones that are up for election, particularly those ones that are um, represent those border states? Where does that put them? Let's have a look at um, the House. Um, well... And, and the Senate. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, will the um, Republicans will the Republicans vote to support the Democratic legislation to block the declaration of a national emergency? What are the Republicans going to do? Will they support this legislation? Will enough of them vote? Let's have a look. Will Republicans vote to support this legislation? Well, I've got the strength of the Democrats coming through here, um, and it is the strength of the Congress, interestingly enough. I'll just bring the laptop down. The strength of the Congress, because this is really what's at stake here. It is uh, the the independence and the strength and the right of the, the constitutional power of the Congress to appropriate money, um, and it's not the president. We've got the balance coming forward here, the angel of balance here, so... That is interesting. That's what's challenging. This could be Trump as well, and it could be what will tra challenge the uh, the Congress is that they may not get enough votes to bring that legislation to pass. Um, at the basis of this reading is the Three of Pentacles, and this is all about working together in teams, commerce and expansion really working together to deliver something. That's an interesting... So so that's the foundation of the reading. 
you could find some Republicans will move toward uh, the Democrats and, and go with the Democrats on this because really Trump is forcing them into, um, into a, uh, really to cross uh, partisan lines uh, and, uh, and work together. And you've seen a little bit of this happening already. New beginnings. That's interesting cards coming up, um, which, is, which is really hanging over all of this. Huh. Immediate future, the government, okay, the government and the courts as well, the systems that hold power in check, that the checks and the balances through the systems, the government systems we have in place, new beginnings for that. I'm seeing that, um, yeah, well, let's not, okay, let's not um, get too far ahead of ourselves. We've got the five of wands, which is rivalry, infighting, competition, obstacles. That's what's happening at the moment. They're talking behind closed doors. They're fighting. And this is, no, I'm getting this is the Republicans. This is the Republicans. That's what's going on in uh, behind the Republicans' doors. The environment around it, of course, is Moolah. Okay, so, all right. This is, this is quite significant. All right, so what's happening here is that um, in, if the Republicans don't support the Democratic uh, moves to hold the, um, the president in check and to maintain the uh, strength of the Congress, when Mueller does eventually bring his report forward, then you could potentially have Republicans who have... Um, supported something that may not be legal because this is going through the courts at the moment. Um, and how does that look for them? That's what the basis of the talks is. They're working, they're working through all of those issues. If they don't support this legislation and the Mueller report comes out to show that Trump could have allegedly been uh, colluding, uh, conspiring with Russia or even working allegedly working with Russia still, and they have voted not to hold his power in check, where is that going to leave the Republicans? Self-defence. Okay, they're, uh, they're trying to defend themselves still. That's the hope that they will and the fear that they won't. Ten of Cups. This is the average, uh, the average family, the voters. This is like my America card, my, you know, um, the suburbs, the, the, the people that make up America, the ordinary rank and file, if you like, of, of Americans. They're, they're going to be the winners here. And if Congress represents them, the sword of truth likely to be coming forward. Hmm. The emperor here is is uh, is there as well, so I think I will need to ask a yes no here. So they're the general conditions around the the vote in Congress. Let's have a look at yeah a yes a yes no. Interesting the cards that come forward to represent the various things. All right, I'll give it, give it a good shuffle. Again, I'm using my Llewellyn pack. Classic tarot, Llewellyn's classic tarot. Okay. All right, yes, no, will the Republicans, will enough Republicans vote with the Democrats to... Uh, bring this bill to um, a resolution bill to Trump's desk uh, that does not that does not support the emergency de declaration. Will enough Republicans sub join with Democrats to support a vote to stop the declaration? Yes, no, Spirit. Yes, no. Okay, so we've got the uh, the Three of Pentacles coming forward again. Uh, this, of course, as you know, is working together, the teamwork. Interesting card came up in the last reading. Um, yes, no. Let's have a look. Support again. Nurturing, healing card. Uh, working together, healing. 
Again, the harvest card, you're reaping what you sow right now. You're reaping what you sow. Knight of Wands, potentially there, there is uh, enough inspiration there, uh, whether it's just based on will I be re-elected if, if I don't support this legislation. Um, the Knight of Wands, this is action moving, in, moving forward with inspired action. Sword of Truth is coming forward again uh, in relation to um, we will we will see this vote it will be quite important because we will see who is voting where. We've got the Queen of Wands here uh, again uh, insight stability um, and it's really joining together in some kind of inspired action um, and it's mirroring the working together card. Will enough Republicans vote? It's going to be borderline. It's going to be hard. Battle weary. Battle weary. So you might see, you actually might see uh, either the House or, or I think I think maybe that. Well, the House will, will of course, um, the Democrats will win the vote there, but I think you're going to see some of those senators turning. That's what this card is saying. These senators are battle weary. I think that it could. It, there's a possibility that that legislation in the Senate or the resolution in the Senate, whatever it is, it will actually be successful. Will actually be successful. It's going to be close, but it, the 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 indications here is that there are good signs that they might work together. Congress is doing um, so. Yeah, you could see uh, the the vote in the Senate be successful. Um, but it will be close. It will be close. It will be interesting because um, there's a lot more to this than just voting on the border wall. This this goes to Trump's power and putting checks and balances on on a, a, a president who is under such significant investigation, where there have already been so many charges. These are weighty issues. These are critical issues that the Congress is facing. Okay, if, it, if that is successful and it goes to it goes to President Trump, is he going to veto it? All right, if that uh, is successful, if it passes through the Senate and it gets to Trump's desk, will Trump veto it? Yes, no. What are the conditions around that? Will Trump veto it? I'm thinking he will, and then you're going to be in constitutional crisis. Will Trump veto it? Will Trump veto it? Let's have a look. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, this is around uh, working with others, leaving some sort of body of work, could be the uh, what ends up on Trump's desk. Um, this is my, you know, one of my Trump cards, which is interesting. I wonder, I wonder what else Trump might, how else Trump might be benefiting from the building of the wall or allegedly benefiting from the building of the wall. This is the card of reunion. Uh, so there's money. And there's also um, potentially illusion smoke screens being put up. Queen of Pentacle money, Pentacles money again, and um, monetary security and stability and strength. Yeah. Mm. And proposals coming forward. Yeah. He he would veto that. You know, this is uh, again the set, you know if it does get to his desk uh, it will be a hard passage to get to his desk but if it does from some of those battle weary senators he will veto it and that will then put the country into some kind of constitutional crisis that's the worst case scenario but don't forget while that's going on you've got the passage uh, of uh, those court you know uh, those court actions going on in the background um, at the state level, at the state level, and we know that they're going to be successful. So, you know, 
Again, more deflection from from these investigations. Is it Trump's intention to undermine the Congress? That'll be our final question. Is it Trump's intention to undermine Congress? Is it Trump's intention to undermine Congress? Yes, no. Is it Trump's intention to undermine the Congress? Sort of truth coming forward here uh, to stifle the truth. Uh, this is around his his money, his power. Mm, transitioning, moving on to um, safer safer waters, safer harbors. Bullying, mirroring the sword of truth. Okay, this is bullying uh, and abuse abusive relationships. Okay, this is sort of more, almost like seduction, really, some kind of proposal coming forward in relation to money. Uh, and money news. So no, he's not trying to. Um, he's not trying to uh, undermine the Congress here. Although I think he would like to. He's not capable. That's what it's saying. He is definitely abusing his. Um, oh, definitely. According to these cards, he potentially is um, in an abusive relationship between he and the Congress. But we know that. We can see that. I think this is this card is saying that um, Trump is moving on, so any sort, any any um, any of those machinations, anything that he's trying to do, uh, is actually going to be thwarted by the sword of truth, which means that more is coming down soon. The Congress's power is is stable, uh, and Trump is going to be moving on um, as a result of the uh, potential alleged. Um, deals that could have been made in 2016 um, and the proposals. That's what this wrote, uh, the proposals that, um, the deals, the proposals, the offers, quid pro quo, all of that. But I do see that the Trump organisation is going to be fairly well in focus in the future. So yes, he is trying to abuse, but he doesn't—he doesn't have the the sort of truth on his on his side. If you want to bring it down to tarot's, uh, the the light of truth, the sword of truth, um, he doesn't have on his side, and so he's unable to undermine the Congress. So I'll leave it there. That's kind of like a an overview of what uh, could happen in relation to that vote. Um, and uh, thank you for tuning in, viewers.